Okay. How are you? Just two minutes with boxing talk. We feel special now. It's been a while since we've had you on the record. Ask a great press conference, great event on September 15th. Can we have some quick thoughts on it? Absolutely. I mean, this this, this goes back to the days, uh, the throwback days when you had Julio Cesar Chavez fighting in the main event, and from top to bottom you had exciting fights. Uh, uh, when Felix Trinidad fought Yori Boy Campos, I mean, he wasn't even the main event back then. So this is that type of event. I mean, you have Juan Manuel Marquez, Jorge Barrios, you have uh, Francisco Bojado. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, a great fight against Stevie Forbes. Uh, you have Sergio Mora, the Latin Snake, uh, fighting Kasim Um I mean, it, it's going to be tremendous. It's a stack of event from top to bottom. Robert DeVos Guerrero against Rocky Juarez. From top to bottom, doesn't get any better than this. Big, big event for the Mexican independence holiday. Absolutely. Big event don't... for boxing in general. Every time Golden Boy does an event, it's big for boxing. Oscar, come on, don't be modest. We don't have much time, so we got to get to the juicy stuff. When can we expect you back in the ring and against two? Yeah, well, there's no, there's no, um, there's no um, decisions that I've made, or, or I haven't said yes or no. Or I, I really have to sit down with my wife. I mean, she's the ultimate person that I will get that answer from, you know, because she understands. She knows me. She not only understands. Um, how I'm feeling emotionally, but physically, she can see how how I can uh, perform uh, inside that ring. Um, so, uh, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, uh, there's rumblings about a Ricky Hatton. There's rumblings about Miguel Cotto. There's rumblings about so many fighters out there. For instance, like uh, Floyd Mayweather. You know, people are saying, well, why don't you have a rematch with Floyd Mayweather uh, Jr.? Well, if it was in a phone booth, I would. If it was in a phone booth, you would. <laughs> Um, Miguel Cotto and Shane Mosley, I've spoken with Richard a couple of times. He told me that he and Aaron have been discussing that fight. Is there any update as it relates to a potential Mosley Cotto fight? Well, there's really no update. It's really up to uh, the Mosleys. Um, you know, the Mosleys are the ones who, uh, who uh, are dictating their career. I mean, Sugar Shane Mosley is Sugar Shane Mosley. So, you know, he's been in this tremendous fights with me and fights with Winky Wright. Uh, he's, been, uh, he's been in million dollar uh, 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 pay per view. Uh, uh, so, uh, so we'll have to wait and see. I mean, uh, Miguel Cotto is a tremendous fighter, tremendous athlete. Um, um, you know, he's, he's represented by a, a great promoter in Bob Arum. So I'm sure we will come to terms in, 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 in if we want to make that fight. So, uh, you know, which I think the boxing fans uh, would really love to watch. Your two fights with Shane Mosley were very close and competitive. You said you would only fight Mayweather again if it was in a phone booth. What makes you think that he would fight a different kind of fight against Mosley than he did with you? And what makes you think that Mosley would be able to catch up to him? Well, I think I think uh, I think a Sugar Shane Mosley. Um, he understands what it takes to win. I, mean, I understand what it takes to win, but Sugar Shane Mosley is is, is a different breed. Um, he's like a chameleon. He can adjust. He, he has the speed. He's very powerful. And most importantly, he has a great chin. So uh, you know, Sugar Shane Mosley against anyone, against Miguel Cotto, against uh, against uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, against against any of the fighters out there. Does Mosley have a target date yet, Oscar? I believe we are looking for a uh, November date uh, uh, for Sugar Shane Mosley that he does have. So uh, it's just a matter of, uh, of crossing the T's and uh, dotting the uh, the I's. Which fights do they have to cross the T's and dot the I's for? Who seems to be the front runner for a November date? If he's going to fight in November, there would have to be an announcement within the next three or four weeks, I imagine. Correct, and uh, we do not have a, uh, a front runner as of yet. Uh, uh, but, uh, but shortly, in a, in a few days, we will be uh, making an announcement on who uh, the great Sugar Shane Mosley is fighting. Will your next fight take place on Cinco de Mayo next year? Well, I mean, that's that's always the target date. And um, if I do decide to fight again, um, which which I am taking care of myself and, and making sure that uh, that uh, you know I stay in great shape, um, um, that day will be uh, available for for us. 147 pounds, Oscar. It's not it's not difficult to make. Not at all. <laughs> that's where the action is. That's why you want to be there. Exactly. Okay, anything in closing for the fans on Boxing Talk? Well, I mean, for the fans, thank you very much uh, uh, for, for listening to me. And um, I just want to be in one of those classic fights. I want to be in one of those fights where people will remember uh, for a long time. Uh, the type of fights that uh, uh, the, the legendary and the late uh, Diego Chico Corrales gave us with Castillo. I want to be involved in one of those fights. There are opponents out there for me, but uh, we'll have to wait and see who, uh, or when, or why, or even if I do fight again. That's right.